Rose could tell Chris was in love. And that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the doom cloud keep following them. Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. did not see that coming. He felt a little guilty too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them.
Chris wondered if Thomas was still alive somewhere. He wasn't going to go looking for him, but he did wonder, and, and that, that showed character. Probably. Maybe the others hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It begun to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed.
Laura had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea.
struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone.
they struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. struggled to get to the com com They struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. They struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. First time in a while, John didn't have an audience. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. First time in a while, John didn't have an audience. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now, it just seemed empty. for him. He decided to jump the massive scary gaps for old time's sake.
OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane, kind of way. seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time.
liked being alone. No one to insult him or question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up? confused. His cage was a lot smaller than James's had been. James decided to find a way to help. Maybe they'd be friends. <laughs> idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. His hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. 